record-setting drought in parts of British Columbia is proving problematic for growers across the Okanagan. BC Tree Fruits Association says the little to no rain across the region over the last five weeks will impact next season. What, what growers like to see, especially before that first really cold snap, is that the soil is has got moisture in it. Um, and that that protects the roots if the soil is, is moist. Um, that's an issue. We'd certainly like to see some rain towards the end of October. Um, before that, you know, that those really cold uh, steps in um, mid to late November, if they come this year. Last year's heat dome also made for little crop this season. That heat dome impacted those buds last year. Um, we have, you know, we have fewer buds or fewer viable buds. And so uh, cherry and apple crops are lighter. Painter's Fruit Market in West Kelowna says their UPIC has taken a hit. Normally we try and have something available for UPIC um, every day that we're open for the season, but because of um, kind of the last 12 months have been really hard on fruit trees, uh, we didn't really have that much in the way of peaches this year didn't have much in the way of apples, um, so we haven't had a lot of you pick, unfortunately. Oliver says the warm weather over the last month has been a positive. It's been incredible for us because we have a lot of um, field crops on the go still. So we plant a late crop of tomatoes and they're all ripening up beautiful right now. We have hot peppers and they need this heat to really get that color into them. So it's been like really good for us to have this heat. Uh, and this dry weather, it brings a lot of people out to the market. David Campbell, the head of the BC River Forecast Centre, says the dry weather could persist for at least another week, if not several. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Earhart in West Kelowna.